for your motor, so that's a nice project for spring break. I'll give you some hints. Keep the friction of your rotor as low as you can. You can't use any oil, of course, that's not allowed. Balance your rotor to the best you can. And try to avoid that the rotor begins to bounce, begins to vibrate. Because when it vibrates, it loses contact with the current when it needs it, so there's no torque. How will we test your motors? We do that with a stroboscope. And I've decided to demonstrate to you how we're going to do that. That's probably the best thing to do. We here have a disc, and we're going to rotate the disc at thousand RPM. Let's assume that is your motor. And we're going to strobe it with a strobe light until it stands still. In this case, I have set the strobe so that it will stand still, roughly, and the strobe is now going at five hundred RPM and the motor is going at thousand RPM. So this clearly is not the rotation rate of your motor. In fact, your motor goes twice around between the blinks. And we have no way of knowing that, so we double the frequency. So I'm trying to double it now. Double the frequency of the blinking of the strobe light, and now it stands still again. So now we may think that your motor is going thousand RPM, but we don't know yet. Maybe it's going three thousand or two thousand RPM. Maybe three thousand RPM. So what we're going to do now, we're going to double the frequency. And so we go now with the strobe light to two thousand RPM. And what we see now is we see a double image. So two thousand RPM is out, and any multiple of two thousand RPM is out. So four thousand is out, six thousand and eight thousand is out. But what is not yet out is three thousand and five thousand and seven thousand. So we would have to test for that. On the other hand, I told you already that this motor is going one thousand RPM, so there's no sense us testing that now. But during the actual contest, of course, we will continue all the way until we are convinced that we have the right RPM for your motor. And so that's the way we will do it. We will put a little bit of white paint on one side of your rotor. So that's the way it will be done. Of course, if your motor is highly unstable in terms of rotation rate, it will not be easy to get a right, correct number. I want to talk with you about 